black women who have been telling them for decades that they ain't shit, they'll never be shit, we don't need them, we don't want them, they can't do nothing for us, that we could do bad all by our damn selves. How many generations of us black women have told that to our black man as we kick him out our homes? Welcome to the Channel Alliance. Today I have a question. Have you noticed that in the Hispanic community, they put their people first? They put their so-called race first? They don't allow folks to speak bad about their community. Have you noticed that Jewish people put their people first and protect themselves against any other community coming against them? Have you noticed how Indians, the Arabs, and most other groups are race of people, for that matter, always put their people first and their community first? My lions, have you noticed? When the women as a whole have problems with their men, they don't go on social media calling their men losers, pathetic, weak, criminals, and how the women should abort their babies and everything else under the sun. These races don't go on social media to disparage their men. When these people are complaining, they don't go as far as to degrade and dehumanize their men. The women from my race are the ones I see willing to go online and to diss all black men as being no more better than dogs. The foolishness. Like they care about fetuses, yet they're not doing anything about the children that are in the community or the men that are in the community. And someone I just read, I forgot it went that fast. Someone said that it's an, it's an act of kindness. In a lot of ways, it is. In a lot of ways, it is. To even have to, you know, even, even think about giving birth to someone that is the seed of a demon because at the end of the day, that's what's going on. And to be honest, I, I would say, I would suffer to say that I would not be, if, if, if I was still out here, out here um, giving out womb, <laughs> I was out here in a position to be having kids still and I wasn't a grandmother, I, there would be no way I would be risking having a child by a demon, male or female. My lions, don't forget to subscribe and like up the video, damn see? Things have gotten so bad, my sisters are now online telling other black women, basically promoting to other black women, only to date and married white men. They say that white men are better than black men. They treat them better and they will be happier with them. That's what my sisters are saying in these social media spaces. I'm posing this question to my black women in particular. I would like to ask you all, why are we black women are so comfortable so willing so encouraging of ourselves and others who emasculate our black men why do we feel it's necessary to always want to showcase to the world how inferior or dishonorable our black men are. I asked this question because of a recent video I came across of a well-known content creator who has built her following by basically creating videos to show the world how magnificent and amazing and wonderful and spectacular her life is now that she has left her black man the father of her two black boys to marry a white man and allow him to father her two black boys. This woman has, over the years, let the world know that black women would be much happier if they were to leave their black man as she did and marry a YT man. The same YT man who ancestors raped us and murdered us and sold 
us and our children straight out the womb. The same YT man who has kept his neck on our brother's necks literally for centuries. As black women, are we not concerned or interested or even have any compassion over the way our black men are treated in this society? How they are consistently, perpetually shot at and murdered by our oppressors? How our black men are found hanging off of bridges and trees, how our black men and boys are found in lakes and rivers and rolled up in mats even in high schools, dead with their organs missing. Are we not concerned about the systems that are set up against our black men to make sure that he is either drugged out or that he is simply burnt out dealing with mental illnesses dealing with the if if you if you what's that inferior nature of the world that he was brought into on slave ships as black women, do we not care or take notice that all the systems that be have an agenda against our men to make sure that they are killed either by them or by themselves? And if not that, they are still in slavery as they get dragged into prisons and jails built exclusively for our black men I just don't understand how a black woman in 2024 can have any type of ill will against our black man who we have watched suffer by the hands of those who have always hated us we have watched our black men go through trials and tribulations, not just by the systems, but by us black women who have been telling them for decades that they ain't shit, they'll never be shit, we don't need them, we don't want them, they can't do nothing for us. That we could do bad all by our damn selves. How many generations of us black women have told that to our black man as we kick him out our homes. As we tear him away from his family. As we keep his children away from him and treat them as pawns so that we can get coins. You ain't go see your child if you don't pay child support. You ain't gonna see your child if you don't give me no money. How? How can we have anything against this black man who has suffered so much? And we compare them to the white tea man. Why? Why? Why do we think that that's something that should be acceptable? Why do we condone that? Why does any other black woman condone another black woman or entertain another black woman who has nothing but negativity to speak upon our black men, the father of our children that we chose to have? Because we live within a society that give us the choice to murder our babies or not. And when us black women make the choice to choose to give birth to a child that we Head with a black man most times we want to kick that black man to the curb because of something he did or something he won't do and we're just so comfortable doing that and then at the same time want to compare him 
to his oppressor, to those who hate him the most, and then we come right after them. Why do we feel like we could compare our black man to those who hate us? Because that white man gives us Section 8 and pay our rent? What, because he gives us food stamps to buy our groceries? What is it? Because we get the public assistance checks to be able to buy our weed and our weeds and our nails. Don't forget the toes and the hands. What, we spending like $200 on nails? We spending up to thousands on hair? And the YT man is helping us do that because he ruled this evil world and your black man is doing the best that he can to have an income to be able to do what he can to take care of you and all the children that you allow for him to impregnate you with. But he ain't good enough for us to speak goodness upon him. For us to show the world that he is our God. What the hell is wrong with us black women? I need some understanding. Please let me know. Because this is going way too far for this black woman. Who has dragged the black man. And she dragged the white man when she got upset with him. I guess he didn't give her her way. Because as black women, we always want to get our way, whether it's good or bad. We want what we want. And if we don't get it, we'll find a way to get it. And if that means that we tear down our black men and leave our black men, then that's what our fool asses do. And when we do make those choices, we want to point the finger at them. We should be looking in the mirror. Here's what one lady in the comment section of this video had to say. She says that the number one killer of black women is black men. And black men are the ones humiliating black men. And therefore, she chose safety. <laughs> this is what these women use to justify hatred of their own men. Let me educate her. My lady, in every community, whether you're white, black, pink, yellow, or blue, the number one killer of women in that community will be people from that community. So saying that black men are the number one killers of black women is not special. White men are the number one killers of white women. Chinese men are the number one killers of Chinese women. Hispanic men are the number one killer of Hispanic women. You're not saying a damn thing special. With this woman's logic, white woman, Chinese woman, or Hispanic women should be talking bad about men from their group and promoting going to these other groups. But they don't do that. They don't do that. They don't have the hatred of their men as black women have been programmed to have. Yes, I said program because it is not natural for female members of a group or race to treat the male members of that group or race in this fashion. It's not natural. Black women have accepted this role willingly. And yes, I am generalizing. See? My lions, let me know in the comment section what you think of this topic. My heart aches for my people, but I'm not giving up the fight until I take my last breath on this planet. Hold tight. Me gone again. <laughs>